Eight Scientific Tips on How to Become Perfectly Happy. There are thousands of tips and psychological techniques to help you feel happy and learn to rejoice each day. But what if our own body had a say in the matter? Here are some findings from neuroscientists, the people who know exactly when and why your brain can give you the feeling of total satisfaction. The first tip is our favorite. It's helpful and very easy to do. Number 8. Engage in pleasant expectations. The process of waiting for something nice, such as food or sex, is similar to the learned salivation response. Our brain experiences pleasure by simply anticipating the fun event. That's why we're so fond of counting the hours and minutes to some particular moment, be it a birthday or a wedding, a meeting with a friend, or just an end to a long working day. Number 7. Solve problems one at a time. Our brain never stops searching for solutions to every problem that worries us. This takes a lot of energy, so whenever the brain gets tired and the problem remains unsolved, we feel anxiety and irritation. On the other hand, for every right decision, our brain rewards itself with a dose of neurotransmitters that calm the limbic system and help us once again see the world in a better light. Therefore, you need to try to deal with one problem at a time. Number 6. Don't keep things pent up. Talk about what bothers you. The processes of wordlessly going through something unpleasant and talking about your predicament involve making use of different parts of the brain. In the latter case, negative emotions have a lesser impact on your well-being. It is, therefore, advisable not to keep your problems pent up. Whenever you talk about them, your brain triggers the production of serotonin and even manages to find some positive sides to the situation. Number 5. Touch and Embrace To us humans, social interaction is important. Various forms of physical support, especially touch and embraces, can speed up a person's recovery from an illness. If you remove physical interaction from your life, the brain perceives its absence the way it perceives physical pain. The same brain zones become activated in both instances. This, in turn, triggers the processes that affect your mood and contribute to the development of depression. Number 4. Learn, learn, and once again, learn. For the brain, acquiring new knowledge means permanent adaptation to a changing environment. Using this process, our brain develops, rewarding its own attempts to absorb and process new information with dopamine, the hormone of joy. If you want to be happy, don't be afraid to try something new, to change your surroundings, to learn new things. Number 3. Play sports. Physical activity is stress for the body. As soon as the stress ends, your body gets a reward, a dose of endorphins released by the pituitary gland. The effect is similar to that of opiates, for example morphine, which reduces pain and elevates the mood. You don't need to run marathons to achieve this result. Even a regular walk can do wonders. Incidentally, many writers and composers consider taking walks an indispensable part of the creative process. Number 2. Always try to get a good sleep. Start using a sleep mask. As long as your brain thinks it's nighttime, it keeps on sleeping. While we sleep in the dark, our body secretes the hormone melatonin. This hormone slows down all processes in the body, helping it to recover and increasing the level of serotonin in the hypothalamus. If the brain detects a change in lighting, it triggers the release of the stress hormone to awaken the body quickly. 
Therefore, it is important to sleep six to eight hours a day and only in darkened environments. Number one, learn to say thank you. When we say thank you to a person or even fate for something, we focus ourselves on the positive aspects of life. Pleasant memories trigger serotonin production in the anterior cingulate cortex. This technique is often used for treating depression. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and share it with those friends who are having a hard time. They might find this video very helpful. To stay on the bright side of life, click subscribe.